Yes. In this video, we are going to see an example of first order circuit. Here, this question is asking: Derive the governing differential equation for the following circuit. Express the answer in standard form and determine the static gain and time constant. Okay. The, first of all, we have to know what is the standard form of the governing differential equation look like. It should look like this. We have to have a tau and v naught of t divided by dt plus v naught of t equal to k. V s of t. So this is the standard form of the governing differential equation. Now we are going to derive this one from this circuit. Here we have an op amplifier, and we consider this is one as this one as ideal op amplifier. And for an ideal op amplifier, we have to know that voltage in the negative terminal should be equal to voltage in the positive terminal. Also, we have to know that current through the positive terminal and the current through the negative terminal should be equal to zero ampere. Okay. So these are the two things we have we have to know in order to solve this problem, and this is connected to the ground. So this is zero voltage, and there's no current flowing through this one. So this one must be zero voltage also, right? So if the current in the positive terminal is zero voltage, then the negative, actually this uh, voltage in the neg positive terminal is zero voltage, then the voltage in the negative terminal also zero voltage. Now we can go ahead and do the Kirchhoff's current law. So if we apply Kirchhoff's current law for this one, we know that V s minus zero, V s minus zero over the resistance R a should be equal to this. We are considering this node. This is current entering this node must be current exiting this node. So this one must be equal to zero minus R b and this V naught. So zero minus not R b zero minus V naught because we have to subtract V naught. Voltage, so voltage is V naught of T divided by the resistance in between. That's going to be R B, right? R B. Then we have plus. This is minus C T V zero of T divided by D T because this is going from so zero, right? Zero minus this one. So that's why we have negative right here. Negative C D V of O of T divided by D T. Now from this one we can derive our governing differential equation, and if you write this one, if you rearrange this one and bring it into this pattern, you will see R B C. Here the main thing is we we shouldn't have any terms in front of V zero of T. So whatever the value you have with V zero of T, you will divide everything. Like here we have negative and R B, so you divide everything by negative R uh, negative one over R B, and you will get R B C. D V O of T, okay, divided by D T plus V zero of T, and then that's equal to negative R B over R A V S of T, okay. So this is the one we are getting finally. Now the next question is what is the static gain and the time constant? Time constant is the value in front of this V zero of T. Okay, this one should be dv0 of t, right? So this one should be dv0 of t over dt. So the value in front of dv0 of t over dt is the time constant. In our case, that is rbc. So we can say time constant is equal to rbc. And uh, the next one is we have to find the k, that is static gain. That is the value in front of this vs. In our case, that is rb over ra. Right, so we can say k is equal to negative, actually negative R B over R A, and that's going to be our final answer. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.